So our first question here is find the quadratic polynomial whose graph goes through the points minus 1, 5, 0, 5, 1, 11. So remember, this method will work for whichever points you have. These are just the points I'm using for this example. So to solve this question, we need to use the quadratic polynomial formula, which is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So to start, we just go ahead and plug whatever values you have right here into this formula. So let's write all three formulas. Keep in mind that this is the x and this is the y. So the first formula will be 5 equals to a minus 1 squared plus b minus 1 plus c. The second will be 5 equals a to the 0 squared plus b to the 0 plus c. And our last one will be 11 a1 squared plus b1 plus c. So you can see I just went ahead and plugged our three points into the formula. So let's evaluate all of these statements. Our first statement will give us a equals minus 1 squared is 1, so a. b times minus 1 is minus b plus c. Our second will evaluate to 5 equals 0 plus 0 plus c. And our last one will give 11. a1 squared is 1 plus b plus c. So now we have these three formulas. We can see that we already have the value for the point c. It's 5. So we can go ahead and plug it in to our first formula, which will give us 5 equals a minus b plus 5. If we take the 5 to the other side, we'll see that a minus b is equal to 0. Now, if we plug it into this formula, we'll see that 11 equals a plus b plus 5. If we take the 5 to the other side, we get 6. So a plus b is equal to 6. So now what we can do is add these two formulas together. So if we do that over here on the left side, we'll see that a minus b equals 0 plus a plus b equals 6. If we evaluate this, we'll get 2a, a plus a is 2a, minus b plus b is 0, and 0 plus 6 is 6. So 2a equal to 6, we evaluate that, divide by 2 on both sides, we'll see that a is equal to 3. So we have our second value. And now to find the b, we can just plug it back into one of our original formulas. So if we were to choose this one, then 11 equals to a, which is 3, plus b, and plus 5, because we had already found our original, c equals 5. So we carry over the 5 and the 3 to the other side. 11 minus 5 is 6, minus 3 is 3. So b is equal to 3. And the question asks us to find the quadratic polynomial. So to write this in our final form, f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 3x plus 5. And that's your answer.